Hey everyone, it's Amy, the Skin and Lash Lady, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, um, and actually we're in my messy art studio today. So today I'm gonna talk to you about a new kind of microneedling. Um, I know I get a lot of pushback from clients for either microneedling or microchanneling is not available in their state. And even though I have two videos here on YouTube, some people it could be, I don't wanna buy all the equipment because I'm afraid to use it, or I am afraid to use it totally understandable. I am a licensed esthetician. I do microneedling all the time on clients and on myself. So I understand the fear factor. But a company reached out to me and all the links will be below. And this is going to be my second time needling. So if you followed me on Instagram or on TikTok, you saw me do this. And it's Cure, Q-U-R-E, Micro Infusion System. So I'll put the link below. It is an affiliate link. And what it is, I'm looking for my lid bottle. Here you can see the bottle, Cure. And it has this, in a sterilized package, you know I like that, this little needling cap that has all the needles. And they have their serums, and I like their serums. They all come sealed. And they sent me two types of their serums. One is for epidermal growth factor, EGFs. That's the one that helps to boost the collagen. Because I also have dry skin, they sent me another one that's a hydrator that's, that's filled with beta glucan, which helps to hydrate. So this particular method, because it is not super aggressive, the recommendation is to do it every two weeks for six sessions. Normally when I do mic microneedling, it's every four to six weeks because I'm doing it in a much more an aggressive manner. You know, I'm using my Dr. Pen or my Rejuva Pen or I'm using my Procell. Very, very, very advanced. Okay, so we got that under control. But when we get to a certain age, we need that boost to help make that collagen. It just doesn't happen on its own. And what happens is, is that this little needle makes a little micro channel or a little injury and that triggers the skin to produce collagen. So Years ago, when it first came on the market, we called it collagen induction therapy, CIT. And then it became microneedling, and we had the rollers. And I'm not into rollers at all. You can te tear the skin. I'm going to demonstrate this, and you'll see how easy it is. You don't have to numb your skin, nothing. So first thing I'm going to do is I've already had used this vial before. So it's already been washed out and dried, so it's all clean. And I'm going to mix both of the serums together because I want to have the best of both worlds. And I only used maybe a little bit more than half, so that's really um, a good thing. I can always make more. I'm always the believer of use less, and then you can always add more. So I'm actually going to pour it to like the midway line. I could probably get a third application out of that. I'm gonna re-stop it it, whatever you'd like to call it. I'm going to pour the other one in. So one is for hydration and one helps to boost. And I kind of go like up to that line, sort of almost. I know from last time um, I had a little bit less and I didn't have any left over. And then I reseal my cap so it stays all nice. And then I'm going to put in the microneedling tablet. They say um, cap. They say it's a 0.5 um, depth, which would be the maximum that I would ever do on a client. A lot of times I'll even do less on a client because it's all about not getting, it's not redder is better. It's just till we get what we call erythemia. We want to pink up the skin and that's all we need. It comes already covered. So I'm going to put the cap on, screw it on. And the directions are that I'm gonna turn this over. So what I'm gonna do, because I need a place to balance it, I'm just gonna turn it over in the box, just like that, so it sits. And what it's doing is, all the serum, besides mixing together, is going down into the cap. And in while that's doing it, it takes about two minutes, I'm going to go and wash my face very well and my hands, and I'll be back in demo.
Okay, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna uncap this. My hands are clean, my face is clean. I'm not gonna touch anything else. I'm gonna start on my jaw just like I would with my client and you can stretch as well too. And I'm just tapping it in. And we just wanna get, I tend to go like in a little like roundish area, just like I was doing it on a client. And I'm pulling my skin because it makes it more comfortable. I be very honest, this is super comfortable. And I may have to let that go a little bit again if I have to. I'm gonna go right, and I always go up to my ears, just like I did on, with on my client. Now I have acne scarring here, old acne scars. So this is like a, a area for me that can never needle enough. <laughs> and I know the light is probably not showing you. I am getting pink. Now I can tell you this, I did this two weeks ago. I did it in the morning. That evening I had, we went out for dinner. My skin looked radiant. It was so hydrated. And then the next day it was fine. And just like regular needling, see, I'm able to have a conversation. I'm gonna stretch right here to get that in there. Just like regular needling, my second day after, my skin looked a little sad. I was experiencing trans epidermal water loss. Totally normal. Because what happens when you do any sort of needling or channeling is that, see, I am pink is that now this I have a little zit. I'm not gonna go over that, that's open skin. So I'm gonna go around that. I can go right up to my eye socket. Just like regular microneedling, I get that initial, what they call histamine reaction. Skin kind of swells little and gets tight. People always like that. But I wasn't bright red or anything. I have no numbing, gonna get into my crow's feet. And just like regular needling, it is a little ouchy on areas that have bone. That's totally normal. I'm gonna actually save that for the last. I'd like to do the bottom half of my face first and the top. And I'm just pressing. And I'm not pressing super hard. I'm pressing to the point that, you know, I feel it. Go right along that lower lip. We don't do the lips. Lips are very vascular. So we never needle on the lips. And right here, I'm gonna stretch a little. Now I have a little bit of a broken capillary there, so I really gotta be careful to work around that. We never wanna needle or do anything on a broken capillary. It's gonna make me sneeze. Sometimes you'll find the top of the eyebrows or the top of the lips, you'll get a sneeze. It's okay if you sneeze. I have a tons of clients that tell me I'm gonna sneeze and I just let them sneeze. It's just a normal reaction. And I'm just gonna speed up the video so you can see and I'll stop it again when I get to the eyes. Okay, so now I'm on my forehead. I have my line there. I'm gonna give a little bit extra attention. And it does like, you know, it, it's it just smart a little bit, but it's okay. Just go gentle, stretch the skin helps it. Like you see, I can have a normal conversation. There's nothing here. I'm gonna get in between here because I have little lines here. And I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> And now I'm gonna work in the eye area. So the eye area is very delicate. So you have to be really cautious. We don't wanna press in tightly. And I go a little bit slow, I'm much more mindful. Now, if I have an area like crow's feet or here that is a little bit more, like needs a little bit more attention, at the end, anything that's left over, I may just do that again. And anything that I have left over in my serum, I'm gonna open the bottle and I'm gonna apply the serum. Now my eyelids, I can't go on top of my eyelids, but just like with the client, I'm gonna lift up any skin that's here and go under my eyelid. So if you have loose skin, just pull it up. I have to stay on the bone. We can't go over the eye. So we never go over the eye. I can get a little bit closer in here. I'm a little puffy today. Get in there in this little corner. And then we're gonna do the other side. 
you could see it's just I'm not pulling I'm not dragging I'm just going up and down up and down up and down and I'm not putting you know it's back to that Nichols weight of pressure it's not a lot of pressure you can control it it's not a machine it's mechanical so do not worry about it I always tell everybody if you're ever unsure make sure your hands are clean tap it a few times on the back of your hand so you can get used to it. And I will do my neck, or I will pull it down onto my neck. I always, just like another client, I always save the neck for last. Normally, when I work on a client, I will change out the tip um, for a fresh one. I never put the same tip on the neck as I do on the face. I would do it from face to neck, but not neck to face. I know that sounds odd, but anytime I'm below here, I always switch out my needling tip. Get a little bit on my nose because I actually have some old acne scars on my nose. So, and I kind of own them, but you know, every little bit helps, right? Okay, I'm going to work a little bit over here. This is a trouble spot. And I still have plenty of serum left in my bottle. So I'm going to work on my neck. And I'm going to speed up the video because you don't need to see me do the whole entire neck. There you have it. Like I said, I'm not like super red. I'm a little bit pink. That's fine. I'm going to actually unscrew this, put it aside. I'm gonna take some of the serum. I'm gonna put it a nice coating throughout my skin. And then I'm pretty much good. I will put on moisturizer on top and I will put on sunblock because it's a sunny day out and it's early in the day. <laughs> And that's all there is to it. I will put the link below. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. But if you're somebody that's afraid, and it's totally acceptable, afraid to do an aggressive microneedling from my other videos, this is something that you can do at home. And you could see, I'm just a little pink. There's very little downtime. I didn't have to numb myself. Totally easy peasy. That's all I could say It's easy peasy. And that's it. So the link is below and thank you for watching.